The title of today's lesson is Adding Three or More Fractions. Example number one, one half plus one fourth plus one eighth. The first thing you want to do is to write your fraction vertically. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is come up with a common denominator for all three fractions. In this case, the common denominator is eight. Two goes in eight four times, four times one is four. Four goes in eight two times, two times one is two. And eight goes into eight one time, one times one is one. So when we add them up, we end up with seven eighths. And that's the simplest form, so that's our final answer. Example number two. This time we have some mixed numbers, a little bit more challenging. One and one half, plus two and one third, plus three and one sixth. Again, write your numbers vertically. Bring over your whole numbers first. Now we'll find a common denominator. In this case, it's six. Two goes into six three times. Three times one is three. Three goes into six two times. Two times one is two. And six goes into six one time. One times one is six. We add them up. We end up with six, six, and six here for our whole number. So six and six, six is equal to seven. Example number three. One half plus three fourths plus one eighth. Again, we have to come up with a common denominator. In this case, it happens to be eight. Two goes into eight four times. Four times one is four. Four goes into eight two times. Two times three is six. And eight goes into eight one time. One times one is one. So when we add them up this time, we have 4 plus 6 plus 1, which is 11 eighths. You can see it's improper, so we'll have to convert it to a mixed number. 8 goes in 11 one time, with 3 left over, so we have 1 and 3 eighths. Next, example 4. Saving myself a little time here, I've already written the numbers vertically. So again, we're going to start off by finding a common denominator. In this case, we have six. So this is three six, two six, and one six. When we add them up, we end up with six six, which is equal to one. Our next sample, example number five, some whole numbers. Again, bring over your whole number first. And we'll come up with a common denominator. In this case, it doesn't happen to be any of our denominators, but we can quickly figure out that the common denominator is 12. 6 goes into 12 6 times. 6 times 1 is 6. 3 into 12 4 times. 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 into 12 3 times. 3 times 1 is 1. Or 3, rather. Excuse me. So we add them up. We end up with 13 plus and three for our whole number. We can see that the second part of the number, the fraction part, is improper. 12 goes into 13 one time. So our three becomes a four. We're left over with one. And we have four and one twelve. Time for some practice. Pause the video, take a few moments to solve letters A, B, and C on your own, and come back and see how you did. All right, let's look at letter A and see how you did. One half plus two thirds plus five six. So you re rewrote your numbers vertically, came up with a common denominator of six. This should be three six, four six, and five six. And when you add them together, you get three and four is seven plus five is 12, 12 six, which is improper. Answer is two, final answer two. Give yourself a star if you got it correct. Now let's take a look at letter B. One half plus three fourths plus seven eighths. Again, rewrite your numbers vertically. Come up with a common denominator. Add them all up. Seventeen eighths. Eight goes to seventeen two times with one left over. So we have two and one eighth. Time to give yourself a smiley face if you got it correct. Good job. 
Finally, we have the letter C, 1 and 1 4, 1 and 1 8, plus 1 and 1 half. Start by writing your numbers vertically, bring over your whole numbers, find your common denominator. Add up your fractions first. Add up your whole numbers. 3 and 7 eighths is your answer. This time give yourself a check mark if you got it right. On the final slide, give yourself a score out of the practice problems. If you got yourself all three, give yourself a three thirds, a big smiley face, with some hair, two thirds, with a smiley face and some chin hair and one third if you only got one third of them correct a smiley face with big ears and if you have zero out of three you better come see me thank you and have a great day